Okay. So we'll let that stop for a while. There's still gonna be a trickle of water going through from here, but this is like 200. This is just pressure relief valve, really. And it's even, even that's actually too much. This will make like 100. So that's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do any damage to the thing over there. Running low on hydrogen. Actually, it's building up. This thing was empty. I just says pipe block now, so. <laughs> it's actually, we're, I think we're reaching a, a pressure limit here because this is only letting out, letting out so much gas at a time so it could slowly cool. Maybe we should actually ramp that up. Oh, that's right. It did uh, lower the, the flow on that. Let's, uh, let's turn that back on. Should we make it? Let's, should we just like ramp it up? Let's just let the thing just just pump out. Just just pump it out. Yeah, it, the back pressure is going to actually stop it more than anything else. But this this thing uses hydrogen at an extremely low rate. I mean, let me see. It does actually say, see, uh, kind of hydrogen, 89 grams. So it's using, it's using 90 grams per tick, I guess. Which is like, I mean, this is not a lot. Using hydrogen, 10 grams per second, there it is. So 10 grams per second. So you figure each one of these pipes has like, what, uh, uh, 10K? I thought 1K. So yeah, it's going to take it a good amount of time to get through all of this. I have to borrow you. You're not a fan of yourself. <laughs> Today me is doing great. <laughs> All right, let's get that nice, dense. That's what I want to see. Look at that build up. Negative 13 degrees. This might just work. This might just work. What is it up here? 33. How's this doing? This is a little puddle of nasty right there, but ain't much we could do about that. Actually, yeah, there is. We could punch a hole right there and I'll get rid of that. That way I could take a more accurate reading. <laughs> That's going. Okay. Everybody seems happy. I mean, some people are less happy than others, but it's fine. Um, we, we didn't have to do anything with hydrogen up here. We freed up an electrolyzer, so we we're actually saved on power. So our power generation is going to be better than it was. We are slowly pooling water down here. Is this dormant yet? Idols. So when that's dormant, we're going to open this up. We're going to send Lindsay up here to go do some work. Um, I'm worried about doing that, though, because she almost killed herself last time. This is not using any electricity. This is fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here. What time is it? God damn. Can't even really work, run on to the next project here. Yeah, we can. Let's, let's figure out where we're going to put our... Uh, let's move this. <laughs> Emitting dirt, heat production. Yeah, let's move that somewhere else. They, they hardly ever have to use it. So let's just move it somewhere else, though. Because we do have to have at least one. So refinement. Let's take... Molecular Forge, huh? I think that's for resources that we don't yet have. And Glass Forge, converting sand to glass. Oh, man. We're going to have to build all this up eventually, but let's let's get a, a nice common area going. Um, we're going to do compost. Let's put compost down. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's put a... Whoops. There we go. I'll move that. I'm going to deconstruct this. We'll do some uh, conversion over here. We'll make like a two-story area. Can Lindsay inspect that geyser in an EV suit? Yes, she can, but the suits are going that way. So I would have to set up a suit station in order for that to happen. And once I get in there, I don't really feel like I necessarily need to go any further than that. Like if I'm going to set up a suit station, it's going to be up here. And then I'll have them just go over and then down. That way I, 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 I'm not having like suit station here and a suit station there, right? Uh, what was I gonna do? Yes, it's gonna go and grind this out and then and out of there. Good, that. I think, let me take a look and see what I could do here. Don't need insulated or anything crazy. Just, what's the temperatures over here? That's nice. It's just nice over here. So we can we put a layer of insulator right here. And then we can start building up. Yeah. Then we have to do that. And they'll be able to come over here. Start digging this out. And I get that gold. So this light there, mm, we can cut through some of it. 
Then we're gonna start building... I guess some stairs or something. I like two two ladders or two uh, entrances into the uh, the resort. I guess it'll be like a spa <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> Let me see stations. Oh, is it not stations? Oh, there's grooming. Oh, that's for like pets and such. Let me see. It's under furniture then. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff here. So we have a sauna. Use steam to create a relaxing atmosphere. Uh, ceiling light, water cooler, jukebox, arcade cabinet, hot tub. Requires pipes to and from the tub to power, power to run the jets. Water must be comfortable temperature and will cool rapidly. Are you telling me that I can cool water using dupes? I think that will be the first thing that we build. We'll put it back in here. Nice and close to, uh, we got this pipe right there, right? Then we can run that back into itself. <laughs> huh. <laughs> this is such a dumb way of doing this, but if this fucking works... Let me see, was it wood? We got lots of wood. Uh, let's see. Something that gives me a decor bonus that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. Well, it looks like it's going to be cold. <laughs> Damn. All right, it's fine. Uh, then we'll put here. And put one tile there. Plumbing. Insulated pipe going in. And then. Wait, what if I should build it from there or if I should have it come out here up and over and then just have it rejoin? No, because it needs to actually have a clear way to get back. So we'll have to go like this and then jump this and then intersect there. And then we'll put a liquid bridge there. And that should take care of the hot tub. It's a hot tub and a time machine. <laughs> Must be some kind of hot tub time machine. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. That that's that's something I really need to revisit. Uh, I forgot it needs power too. You know what? I'm gonna need another natural gas generator because. The amount of power I'm using everywhere is good. You know what? Let's just run. Let's just run a cable from over here, uh, and then let's just see what it does. Maybe we'll get away with it. Gold decor plus fifty. Uh, aluminum high thermal connectivity. Iron. So we'll just keep that. We'll just use iron, and we'll just keep it uh, hidden as best we can. Like like we did here. See, we did such a great job keeping this uh, hidden here. Let's actually redo some of that. And we'll go up. Yeah. Build a couple things. And then we'll go attach here, and then here, and then here. Good. Then we'll kill all the in betweens. Get some of that. Res those resources back. I still need to watch it again. You're right, I do. I do. So, what else should we put? What's, what's going to be next to the sauna? Like hand washing station or something like that. <laughs> they, they feel like they're going in and out of this rec room. They're gonna be all dirty and shit. No, no, no. We don't need that. That's too much. A beach chair. Ooh. Huh. A sauna and a couple beach chairs. That sounds actually pretty good. To corpus to granite. Put a couple of those. I don't know if it needs power or anything. <laughs> Soda fountains. Yeah, so this will be like the 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 sauna, the sauna spa, whatever. I don't think it really needs anything else. A juicer. <laughs> what the hell? Drinking juice increases the morale. Okay, there's a sauna here too, but I don't think the sauna is gonna fit anywhere. Does it need? It has an output. Well, what does it need for an input? Power, gas intake pipe. Oh, because it needs gas. What kind of gas does it take? Uh, it must receive gas from a gas pipe. Boy, thanks. <laughs> uh, auto info. Hold on, stay there. No, no. God damn. So the, yeah, the system lamps and everything. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. What is? What does it need? Water. Heat. How does it generate the heat? Gas intake. Steam. Decor. Uh, 
You know what it doesn't say? Uh, let's do this. Let's, let's get rid of this one. Steam is the gas it's requiring? Oh, so it doesn't, it actually just takes straight steam? Ooh, okay, that's not gonna get built for a minute. Um, beach chair is nominal. Good. And then we'll go ahead and put a, we have to make this an official room. So let's go ahead and just build uh, some gas, oh, just a couple insulated. And then, uh, actually no, we wanna build, make those gas just to get air out of it. Easier to keep clean. And then, yeah, it'll give us a room to put some lights, some art, put art right here, put an art right there. Outside a recreation room. Yes, we have to seal this off, actually. So we'll put a door, put a tile right there. I was going to have it extend out into the room above, and then we're going to build a secondary room up there, but we'll save that for later. Actually, I'm going to make a list of things we'll save for later. <laughs> I do everything here. Uh, move drains, small rocket. Wow, so all we did was move the drains on our old list. And we also didn't do that last thing. If you guys remember what that last thing was, we'll just won't talk about it. And then... Let's see. Oop. All right, so rec room. Rec room's got to get built. Well, a bit another rec room. Uh, we still have to go to space, but that's all right. That's a, that's a noted thing. Probably another natty gas gen. Stein's guy. I think I actually have that on my PC somewhere. Oh, they can't reach this. Whoops. Don't need that tile there anymore. And they should be able to get all the other stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well have them go ahead and do that too. So let's, uh, I want to make this nice before we get out of here today. So let me see. Furniture. I can't remember what the fuck. Oh, it's drywalls over here. Okay. Prevents gas liquid from loss in space. Build an insulating wall behind buildings. I just want to make it look nice. Decor plus 20%. Made out of granite. Let's do it. Put a door there. This a pneumatic door is fine. Made out of gold. We have room for a couple of. Let me see. Sculptures. We'll make it out of marble. I think is the one that gives a granite. Capriana granite. What else can I, can I make? Something. Is someone gives me more than that? Ceramic, mafic rock, obsidian. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's just gonna be granite. Uh, kind of feels weird, like, a, it's all outdoor theme, and then it's just, like, two big-ass... We just put one right in the middle. Crown molding will help. Sure, yeah. Oh, no, 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 let's see. I forgot there's so many more. Holy crap. Landscape canvas, we can squeeze one in right here. Oh, no, we cannot. Why? Let's build an unoccupied... Uh, oh, no. Oh, hmm. I guess the, uh... Yeah, that thing takes up a little bit of space here. That's fine. Let's see, marble block. God, a marble block would have been better. Oh, no, it's huge! Wow, okay, no, never mind. Alright, so this is go back to the crown molding. <laughs> God damn. We'll make it out of granite. I can't build it because there's no, uh... The floor is not done yet. Hope you didn't miss too much. <laughs> we're, we're actually making the checklist to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, right at the tail end. You can see the, the decor is, is uh, the morale, decor morale is going up. Oh, it's going to be a jerk. <sighs> Go back and do it again. Mm hmm. Silly game. Then we'll run this all the way across. Make sure that's also granite. Uh, I think we have a light. We need lights over here, don't we? To make those things nominal. Maybe like one light in the middle or something will work. How does that work? Ceiling light. Oh yeah, one light right in the middle will be perfect. And then we'll run power to it. That's easy. And then there's another light over here. Nice kind of like, nice little shady corner. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, we're on power to that. 
I run behind the wall. Yeah. Just make sure there's nothing that we necessarily need. It's always gonna be on, so maybe we should put like a dupe sensor or something like that there to keep that from uh the like of just turn on whatever is uh See there's a green or based on whether dupe is in the sensor's range. Okay. Can't because it must be built in unoccupied space. Oh, there's a damn thing right there. Uh yeah, I think if we do one here. Or maybe here. I don't know what the range is on this thing. Can I see the range? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, it's a pretty significant range, actually. Oh, but you know what? It's not going to be broad enough to really pick up. Ah, it's fine. We'll leave the light on. Whatever. Okay, now the place is trashed. <laughs> Clean all that up. I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what the... Uh, like what it looks like. First off, does it qualify as a room yet? It sure does. Is it a, a recreation room? It sure is. Uh, and the morale is what in here? Ooh, maximum decor. That's what I want to see. I want to see somebody actually using the hot tub. Quiet pipes from the tub and powered around the jets, which we have. Right. Okay. So water too cold. It says. Oh. Damn it. It has power. It should just freaking just put. God damn it. Just too fucking cold. It's 106 degrees. Have you guys ever been in a hot tub that was over 100, 100 degrees? By one degree. 101 degrees in a hot tub is pretty warm. Like, that's pretty warm. Uh, especially for like an extended stay, right? Like, no one's gonna get into 120 degree water. Oh, what does it need? Let me see what it says. Hold on a second. Make me mad. Let me see. Uh, fill oh, it's filling up. It says it's filling up. Now, hold on. Normal. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Maybe it's fine. And it's being silly. I think it's fine. Okay. Maybe we're fine. Maybe it was just a weird... Like this, just yeah, just it just said that because it wasn't full. So okay, we're good. But now I want to see some. I want to see someone go in there. Let's uh, let's turn this off uh, or make that like crazy high. They should start using it around their downtime. How's everything else doing? There's a suit here that doesn't have oxygen. Because why? Because this is not in oxygen. Because why? Because I did not give it enough water. You see, it's always one thing or the other. Uh, and because I turned off the water to go, you know, through, I don't have enough water to actually run this thing. It's great that this area is going to recover. And it's great that we have all of this excess water over here. But I still need to provide enough water to run the machine. So, let's go back over here. And we'll just set this thing to a, to a nominal, like, 200 should be good. Come on, work in. Oh, they did it. They did it. Okay, good. So now this machine is all running. There we go. How much water is actually getting out of there? I'm curious. Over time. But we, yeah, we still have to, yeah, we just still have to feed it water. So we'll just let it continue to dr just a drip of water instead of just completely wiping it out. And then that should keep the oxygen flowing. Look at this guy. So what is to <laughs> totally chill? It says, "Oh man, he's in a beach chair using beach chair." My stress, your stress is at zero. He's just chilling, man. Oh, that's right, because he's a night shift. So yeah, you can just chill here. Lit workspace, kind of with slime under. It's hungry. He's hungry now. Okay, so he's gonna go do that. Just chilling. Still have not. Alleviate the water issue here. So we still have too much water in this area, which is, I think, still fine. Because we're not, we don't have like an excess buildup of oxygen. It's funny up here, the oxygen's beautiful. There's tons of it down here, not so much. <laughs> Let me see. How's the heat doing? 
109 degrees. So it's still staying within a range. It is getting hotter though. I mean, this is 115 degrees. It was 106 degrees, not even like 20 something cycles ago. Um, so we are still dealing with, dealing with a little bit of uh, excess heat generation. Then I guess we'll have to tackle some other time. Wow, the oxygen come out of here is really hot. 127 degrees. I feel like... Uh, wait, can't confirm water is within a range. Wait, are they, uh, I'm curious, have they used it yet? No one has used it yet. Damn it. Damn these guys. Huh. Just trying to think, like, um... Again, all these problems, like when you have a problem with like heat generation, like, you know, in like 20 to 50 cycles, like that's going to be a problem problem, right? It's so, like right now, yeah, these things are generating heat. It's, it's, it seems like it's 109 degrees. Like that's only gone up like four degrees, but it has gone up four degrees. Uh, prior, I had an oxygen generator down here that was putting out hydrogen actually. So yeah, it wasn't actually putting out oxygen because the oxygen was piped. Um, the my main heat generators is pretty much the heat production. So this is generating a thousand DTUs of heat, 500 DTUs, 500 DTUs, uh, 10,000. I wonder if I put a couple of temp shift plates here, if I'll help kind of divvy up some of that heat and spread that out a little bit. Wheeze warts is a last resort. Yeah, wheeze warts are always uh, an option to, uh, yeah, I mean, wheeze warts, God, where can I put a wheeze wart that would probably be effective. What if I what happens if I stick one right here? You guys see what happens if I put one right there? I have water going right to this, right? Was this uh water? Yeah, clean water. Let's put one there and see what happens. I think we have enough to put one on either side. So hydroponic farm. Let's put a hydroponic farm. Oh, can't put it there? Why? Why? Oh, because the back wall. Oh. Well, let's get rid of that back wall then. And then uh should we put one on the other side? We can. Uh oh, everybody's home. Deconstruct that back plate. Let's do that uh, now. Now. Just the back plate, guys. Alright, let's not mess this up again. Good. It's obstructed by what? Heavy watt wire? God, why is there always something? <sighs> Alright, we'll build it up one. Fine. That actually changed. Oh no, damn it. That actually messes things up. Um, you know what? I'll build it down one. How's that? That way it's in the ground here. It's not going to absorb any of the nasty water from there. I don't know if it really cares if there's nasty water. Let me see. Hydroponic farm. So we'll put one here. Make an emergency. Using gold. Fine, make it a gold. This one over here, we'll put. How will we stop that? There we go. We'll just put one over here just to see how it does. I gotta build that wall again. Uh, damn it, what is it under? Dry wall? No, temperature plates. What did I make it out of again? Shit. Thermal reactive cemetery rock, I think. Right? So yeah, cemetery rock. Good. Okay, so it needs water. We use word seed. Plant that now. And then we need water. So we just put one pipe. We'll just run down just a little bit here. Oh. <laughs> Boy, this got complicated. You see how fast this went? <laughs> oh god. Okay, so let's do that. Which means we'll probably have a leak, maybe? I don't know. We might not. We might be okay. Plumbing. Insulated. And bump. Okay, we use where it's working. It's got water. Alright. So this thing's 109.6 degrees. What can one wheeze wart do? Over time. <laughs> Just scatter a couple of warts all over the place. These, these things definitely need temp shift plates to pull this off. Suck. Utilities, temp shift plate. Uh, thermally reactive. Yeah, so we could keep making out of that. Let's actually just put this across this whole thing, maybe? Maybe like from here to here? I'm only, I'm only, uh, pushing them to, to make this happen because... Cause like, uh, you know, cause I gotta go. I gotta go. 
Hey, what up, kid? Did you fix it? Did I fix it right away? Did I fix it? What do you think? How's it look? It's kind of good as I ever thought. It's as good, it's good as you ever thought. So, so I put a little bit of glue in there. And so, listen, don't tug on the feet anymore, okay? Okay. All right. I'll be down in a second. Now he looks so cute that I ever seen. He's the cutest you've ever seen. <laughs> he really loves that thing. Uh huh. I'll be down. I'll come down in a minute. Go start your homework, okay? Yep. I'll be down in a second, bud. All right. All these things are going <laughs> at a rapid rate. Uh, wow, heat is already down. <laughs> I don't think that's because of anything that I've done so far. It's look, it's dropping significantly, actually. Huh? How funny. Huh? Hi, right, Hawaii. You're too late. Yellow alert on which one now? Just the last tile. Okay, good. Uh, did I see security door? Okay, I thought for a second I saw that food is out of reach, which was would be bad. All right, so I think we're good. Uh, I see more iron. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. He was in and out so fast. Okay. We need to have... Okay, so we need to eventually work on a uh, better farm. A better farm. This is like long-term stuff. So rec room uh, two. So we need to have... We have one rec room, which is great, but we need to have another rec room that is, uh, you know, has more fun shit in it. And we'll be like right above it or something like that. Um, but this is perfect. There's a perfect little little rec room there. It's got this how's the oxygen levels in there? Uh oh, they're good. Oxygen. Oh yeah, they're totally good. And then uh oh man! <laughs> what up, Clay? Oh dang. <laughs> Holy crap! Everyone say hi to Clay! How's it going? How's it going? Uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right. Well, let me send a text to my wife real quick. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna be a minute. Ellipsis. <laughs> uh. So. Uh, so hi everybody. Uh, I guess just uh, introduce myself. My name is Mike B. I, I variety streamer. Love oxygen not included. Absolutely love oxygen not included. And don't starve. Uh, I'm like a junkie on this stuff. Which, if you're watching a clay stream, you probably understand uh, fully. Uh, right now, we are currently uh, 342 days deep into this uh, cycles deep into this. Um, uh, hold on a second. Is is uh, here. I am running basically like a, it was like initially like a low tech, high research value type of uh, setup. This is, this uh, asteroid is very low on metals. And so I've basically just been dedicating all of my time to uh, uh, just doing research and then getting all that stuff up, having just small centralized and localized areas of like power generation. So like, for example, up here, I have a, uh, I have a pump that's sucking up all this natural gas, but it's being powered by a tiny little battery with one pedal power thing, right? Saves me the... The, uh, the the issues of having to run power all the way up there and regulate all that uh, when you're first starting out, right? Kind of like spread out, create these little satellite stations and everything. Uh, as time has gone on, we've uh, we've slowly started to actually use all of the research that we have been uh, researching and unlocking uh, to uh, to just slowly increase quality of life here and there, and also to continue to advance the uh, the base. I don't have uh, I have all the research done for. If you take a look here, basically everything except for rocketry, because I have not launched a rocket yet. I've actually, as much, as many hours as I put into this game, I've actually never launched a rocket because, uh, well, I just never got to that point. Um, and so, yeah, so, so that's why I'm at 342 cycles without rockets. So if you're wondering, that's why. <laughs> we like to work slow. Low numbers, right? We've only had one death. Um, yeah, so... Welcome! <laughs> My first rocket stream. <laughs> oh man. Let me see. Oh yeah, I guess to also catch you guys up. Uh, so this area over here, obviously an ice biome. It was the, it's, I, so far it's the only ice biome that I've found on this asteroid. 
I started piping water through there from the cool steam vents in order to cool them, obviously. Uh, the problem is that it was obviously melting the biome. So somebody said, pipe, pipe, pipe some hydrogen in there. I, I didn't really feel like that would work too well because, well, I just didn't feel like I could just save, I can stop global warming with just a little bit of hydrogen. But I was wrong. Uh, it has actually dropped in temperature considerably. It's still melting, but it has dropped in temp temperature considerably since I uh, started pumping hydrogen in this room. Just kind of willy-nilly just letting it just come in here and just I've sealed it off and everything. Um, but yeah. Wait, I know you, don't I? <laughs> I I have been making content in one form or another for about 12 or 13 years. Uh, I used to work for a game company uh, named Zam. I was first, I was contracted to do videos called the BFF Report. I was uh, doing um, uh, basically weekly uh, video reviews. I was hosting shows. I was flying out to do coverage on, at like various conventions or whatever, doing interviews with various devs and everything. Uh, then I started working full time for Zam. I was there. I basically ended up being something of, of content. I was like director or I think ultimately ended up getting the title of VP of content before we ended up leaving. And after I left, I decided to get back into content creation. I started streaming, just make a little bit of videos here and there. I do photography uh, and just kind of like just dabbling in just all sorts of different things and then trying to monetize them, right? Trying to make money off of them and continue so I continue doing those things. Uh, so yeah, you, I've been around long enough that I feel like if you've been paying attention to content creation as a whole, especially in like the World of Warcraft space or obviously in the clay space uh, or everything else. What's that? Corpse! Dang! Corpse, thank you so much! There it is. Corpse is a gift to 10 subs of viewers. Thank you so much, man. Uh, he makes enough money to not have to leave his home. Yes, I am in. I am in the blessed position. Thanks to all the folks who are watching right now and supporting, and people like Corpse, uh, I, to be able to continue doing this kind of work. So, yeah, I've been around for a bit. I used to do a show called Legendary. Actually, if you play World of Warcraft, there's a, especially back in like uh, 2010 to like 2013 or 14, I think 13, I think. Uh, I was on a show called Legendary with Josh Allen, a.k.a. Lore, Devil Lore, from Starvation. Who's starving? Why is he starving? He's not. He's just really hungry. Kind of like me right now. Um, but I did a show with, uh, with J Josh Allen, a.k.a. Lore, from, uh, who actually uh, works Dang. for World of Warcraft. Dang, Hohan! Woo, man! Yeah, late, late Wrath, early Kata era. Yep. Uh, during that time, I made, uh, I made uh, Season 9 and I think Season 10. Uh, ludicrous gladiator <laughs> ludicrous warlord <laughs> so you know i i might have some pvp chops i knew what i was talking about back in the day um and yeah so that's where you might have seen me probably i mean honestly i think legendary is probably like my the in terms of like meeting the most people and everything that was the biggest like that was such a great show love that love that show is this thing dormant yet no okay so how funny, uh, so as you guys uh, showed up, Clay, thank you so much again for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. That's amazing. Um, but uh, before you guys showed up, why are you chilling there? Okay, good. Let's get, get to work. Uh, we were actually making a list. I like to keep sticky notes around so I could keep a list of, uh, of all of my things that I need to do. And then next time we stream, you know, go through that list. Otherwise, you know, you, you're like, okay, so next time we do this, this, and that, and then you come back the next day and you're just like, what was I going to do? And you start doing something completely, completely different. Uh, does this thing actually have enough hydrogen to run? It doesn't use that much. Oh yeah, see, it's still backed up. We got just a trickle of hydrogen coming in, enough to put into the, into space, into this space, and then enough to uh, run the machine. That's all that matters. How the temperatures here? I would, I would argue that this is actually a deeper blue than it was before. It's, I mean, it's, it's still green technically, but there's definitely more blue. So I do feel like the, uh, the cooling of the ice biome is working. We have a nice little puddle, a little pool of, uh, of gas down here that we have to take care of eventually. Um, let's see. Uh, it's definitely an aquamarine now. Yeah. See, right. It's definitely more of an aquamarine now. His, uh, yeah, his, my, my, I, so I, I take. I used to just record the episodes and just put them up on YouTube, but now I've been streaming the the, the gameplay and then chopping up that footage and then putting putting it on um, on YouTube as like VOD. It's kind of like a more uh, an easily more easily digestible uh, collection of of content for people that like that. Because one of my, I mean, right now one of the biggest demands is for 
from people for me to play Don't Starve or Oxygen Included because people like to listen to it as they go to sleep. Apparently, it's got that kind of voice, I guess. Putting people to sleep for some reason. Say hi to Tarnell. I'll let him know. Um, oh, Ira, look at this. For about three hours, eh, like four hours. You, Yeah, you're right. Up, upwards of four hours. Usually like between one and five. But yeah, that's about right. Uh, so it goes, it, it ranges. Just depends if I get in here on time. <laughs> or if I can't decide what I'm going to play. Hey, right, guys, we're getting steam build up here. Remember, I said this is going to be a problem later on. Uh, it's turning into a problem now. But we're keeping all of that, all of that nasty, nasty heat contained. Yeah. The guys really like to... Oh, you know what? I don't really have any tasks for them to do. I've been letting time go by and I've just been talking. Let me see. Why is killing de killing demon is always so mad? Wait, where is he? Hold on. Uh, what is his problem? What does his skills look like? So his morale is down, right? So he's just see last last cycle's decor is ugly. God, I know he was so sensitive to decor. Where is he sleeping? Let's see, uh, hug shot, woofy. Okay, boots. Where, where is he sleeping? Donis. Killing demon. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Let me... <laughs> He's so sensitive to, uh, to morale. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's make this nice. This us gonna have the nicest room now because of this. Because he complained. <laughs> you see what complaints will get you? Alright. Emergency. This guy needs drywall. <laughs> and then we'll put... That is drywall, right? Okay. <laughs> Temp shift plates all the way back there. Uh, I don't have plastic. I can't give him a comfier bed or anything, but I can put... I put like a giant marble block in his room. <laughs> That'll solve it. Let's see. What is the decor plus 20 in a radius? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. What do I have? I have plenty of obsidian. Let's make it obsidian. Bam. That should be enough. Crown molding. Let me see. Out of... Granite again. Oh, actually out of granite. Whoops. <clears throat> ceramic. Let's make out of ceramic. No, but also ceramic for this. He's just an ugly cry, so it's <laughs> it's not that bad. I still want to keep I'm trying really hard to keep their keep their temperament low. I'm trying to avoid mutiny. Martha, why are you starving? Oh, because <clears throat> Martha's not actually starving though, right? Needs food. Let me see. What is your what is their kilo calorie? Oh, your calorie count's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Marble block. Get to work. There. And once that's done, wow, just existing. It's so ugly. <laughs> You're gonna wonder. It's like, okay, who's the uh, who's who's the princess of the group? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one that needs that needs rose petals thrown at their uh, at their feet as they walk? It's killing demon apparently. The one who's supposed to actually pilot the rocket that I will eventually build. Squeaky will gets the grease exactly. Four a.m. to me, and it's not your voice that's driving me to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear. Uh, I'm sorry, the elders of first four dupes getting the penthouses. I want a throne to sit upon and look down upon all of your dupes. Yeah, uh, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Mostly binge eaters. Are they mostly binge eaters? No, I think I have uh, mostly ugly criers, a couple binge eaters, maybe. Uh, I've been trying to avoid destructive people, uh, vomiters, and binge eaters. But, you know, you make sacrifices, a couple here and there. Wow, look at that. Okay, that's, wow, that's great, Navy Double. Jesus Christ. Good job, Navy Devil. Now, what do we got here? Uh, let's see. Decor plus 65. God, what else does it want? Wait, wait, actually, what is actually taken away from Decor? Let's see, drama. Da, 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 da. Negative airflow tile insulated look okay yeah so I mean it's I mean whatever it's fine now he's going to sleep okay now let's see while he's sleeping actually let's see what is his stress is going down by three percent per cycle because of his uh sleeping so he's sleeping obviously so speed things up doesn't update dynamically here so he's still so mad oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let me just lower this. Just for hug shot. I don't want him to start doing whatever he's gonna do. Uh, ugly cryers are completely harmless. He's got low morale. Yeah, he's got low morale. He'll, 
I, I, I gave him a ton of skills, and I think that offset his morale just enough that he's actually, uh, he's pretty upset by that. So, because of his job, yeah. I will, I will eventually, like I said, like, tailor that a little bit and try to correct that. I just, I jumped at the opportunity to make him a, a pilot, and, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have a skill scrubber hooked up right now. Like I said, everything is very low tech when we first started out, and so we we're only building things pretty much as needed, uh, and sometimes only temporarily. Like I got a kiln for a little while, and I made like a bunch of ceramic or something else, something else I can't remember. Uh, and then, and then once I had enough, I just killed it. You know, I had a rock crusher. I refined a whole bunch of ore that I might use, and I still actually have some left over. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a very slow process of just trying to. Um, I mean, just trying to keep it as low tech as possible, and then expanding as as necessary. So it's a very sl it's a very slow build. I mean, I I, I have like four hundred and fifty or hours or something like that, and I've definitely had my share my fair share of just like complete failures of colonies for sure, like anyone that's played. And so I'm trying my best to 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 plan things as best I can instead of doing the whole you know what that's a problem for tomorrow me, which I still do. I still put off a lot of work and a lot of. Uh, chores and shit for like tomorrow me i mean there's lots of stuff i have this i have a whole i have sticky notes of full of lists for tomorrow me because tomorrow me is going to take care of it today me <laughs> it's fine uh, next 300 <laughs> yes the 365 cycles yeah it's for next year resolution what's that a resolution for that only oh, yeah, it feels like knife edge it's so easy for connie to go down a slippery slope yeah so I've, i have been that's why I've been like just kind of tracking every little change, like every little change. I've been tracking it and just trying to like just get ahead of the games. So that way I don't have to worry about something, you know, like all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, we weren't paying attention to this thing. And now it's like wildly out of control. So I'm just trying to tame things a little bit at a time. Wow, look at this. This is really working, guys. I'll be happy once these things stop melting. <laughs> it's 28 degrees. I feel like technically it should be making that little slippery, slippery thing there, but... So, so they're all standing around not doing anything because we are packing up, getting ready to go. So let me just let me just think. So for tomorrow, we're gonna play again tomorrow. Uh, rec room, rec room two. So the second floor of the rec room, natty gas generator, uh, a better farm. Uh, we do have to get a kiln going because we need steel. What was it? Coal and iron, I think. Is that what it was? So we need to get a kiln going for steel so we could make a rocket. I uh, might as well go ahead and get something to make some glass, because I think we're going to need glass to make parts of the rocket or something eventually, right? Love how you have all three temperature units, even though Kelvin is clear. <laughs> I, you know, I have all three because, obviously, freedom units is superior for me. Uh, but Celsius is there because a lot of folks that watch, they're, you know, they're not going to want to do the translation from, from freedom units to Celsius. So, and I don't want to do the conversion from Celsius uh, backwards. And Kelvin, I have no idea, man. I haven't learned about, I haven't dealt with Kelvin since I was in school. 